Good day, grade 5. Welcome to our science class. I am Teacher Joey, your virtual teacher for today. Today class, we will travel to another lesson in science. I know and I am sure that you are all excited for another fun-filled learning activities for today. So let us now begin. But wait class, before we start our discussion, try to find a nice and comfortable place inside your home where you can focus with your lesson. I want you to prepare yourself as well as your materials necessary for your study. Kindly bring out your pen and paper so that you could jot down some important notes needed for your learning. Always remember class that having knowledge is having a power. Today class, we are going to discuss about conductors of heat and electricity. Last meeting, we discussed about motion. And it said here that an object is said to be in motion if it changes its position with respect to its surroundings in given time. According to Isaac Newton, who discovered the relation between motion and, and force, that forces in nature produces many different types of motion. It includes linear motion, rotary motion, reciprocating motion, and oscillating motion. Look at these pictures. Study the first set of pictures to the second part of pictures. What can you observe? Very good. These are ways of cooking. Ways of cooking from the past and these are the ways of cooking now. Have you ever noticed why your cooking pots and cooking pans are mostly made of stainless steel or aluminum? And some materials are made up from wood? What is the reason behind this? So in this lesson class, you are going to learn or discuss why some materials are good conductors of heat and electricity. You can enumerate the characteristics of good conductor of heat and explain the effects of heat in people and objects. Look at this picture. Can you say something about it? Very good. It produces fire or it produces energy. So based on the picture that we have, it shows here the two forms of energy that are very useful in our daily lives. From this picture, heat cooks our food and makes us warm. While this picture, electricity allows us to use products that are brought about by the technology. Okay class, let's define one by one. Fire produces heat. Heat is a form of energy. It can use to perform work. It can warm things up. It can cool things down and generate electricity. Heat is a transfer of thermal energy from higher temperature object to a lower temperature object. While electricity is very useful form of energy, it can be used to perform work such as heating our food, lighting up our home, used for computer operation, motive powered entertainment applications. Electricity also is the flow of electrons from one place to another. It is a general term for anything that involves an electrical charge. What is conduction, conductor, and insulator? Conduction is the process where heat can be transferred from one object to another or from one molecule to another. Through conduction, materials will increase their temperature because the heat can easily flow in them. Just like cooking pans, pans are made of metal because energy is passed easily and quickly between the particles in most metals. When we say conductors are materials that transfer thermal energy faster by allowing heat to flow freely through them. Generally, solids are better conductors than liquids and gases. This is because the particles in solids are closer, making it easier for a particles in solid to transfer energy. Most metals are excellent conductors of heat. 
metals are solids with compact molecules that are hard, ductile, and malleable. They can react with other substances and form new materials. Some examples of conductors with high thermal conductivity are copper, silver, and gold. Copper is a metal that is commonly used in electrical wires because of its high conductivity. While silver has higher conductivity than copper but is very expensive to be used for commercial purposes. It can be used in special equipment like satellites. Some examples of conductors with high thermal conductivity are the following. We have iron, we have steel, and we have aluminum. Another are nickel, brass, and water. Not all materials are good conductors of heat and electricity. They are called insulators. Insulators are materials that does not allow heat and electricity to pass through easily. The examples are cork, paper, fabric, rubber, ceramics, plastic, leather, wood, and glass. We have also bricks and tiles, oil, dry air are examples of insulators that do not carry any electricity or materials that do not easily transmit energy. We have uses of insulators. Just like number one, it is used in transmission and distribution of electricity supply. Number two, it provides necessary safety for human and animals. Just like as you look at this picture, yung punch na yan, kaya merong handle na made it from plastic or made it from rubber para hindi mapaso yung naghahawak dyan sa handle na yan that is made from a rubber, a plastic na hindi agad-agad makakandak ng heat. Another one is insulators like plastic and rubber are used as a covering from electric wires. Kaya kung napapansin nyo, when you have your chargers, bakit kaya yung charger ng wire nyo is coated with rubber or anything na hindi agad nakikita yung nasa loob. So that are the uses of what you called insulators. So what do you think now why electricians are wearing insulated rubber gloves? Do you know the reason? Bakit yung mga electricians, they make use of this, what you call insulated gloves? Because electricians wear insulated rubber gloves because it serves as a barrier against electric shock. So that is good. Kaya hindi agad-agad sila nakokoryente or whatsoever because they are using um, gears. Gunagamit, gumagamit sila ng gloves. So let's now proceed to the effects of heat. Number one, when an object absorbs heat, the liquid or temperature rises just like water being heated in a kettle. Another example's effects of heat is number two, objects expand when heated. Just like, for example, when you are cooking popcorn. Isn't it na kapag na-heat yung popcorn ay magpa-pop? So that is effects of heat. Number three examples is a change in state from solid to liquid to gas can occur when the solid is heated just like the melting of ice or an alcohol rub on the arm changes to vapor as it absorbs heat from the skin. Yes, tulad nung ice. Isn't it na yung yung ice kapag inexpose natin sa environment it will change into liquid so that is effects of heat as well as when we use alcohol when we rub that to our hands to our body it will change into gas because our hand is or our body have what you call heat another effects of heat is a change in the heat content of a substance can cause chemical changes just like in cooking. 
through the help of the heat, of course, yung raw food na ating nululuto ay makukuk na. So that is the effects of heat. We have also effects of what you called electricity. Number one effects of electricity is manufacturing industries have manufactured many processed food and other useful products to provide the people in the community. That is the first effect. Number two effect is improved and fast transportation systems such as the light rail transits, bullet trains, subway trains, and electric buses operates through electromagnets. So you see, that is the effect of electricity. Number three effects of electricity is improved communication media with computers, mobile phones, and other electronic devices has been made possible by electricity. Kaya meron tayong nafafast yung ating um, communication to others because of this electricity. So number four effect is that fast diagnosis and treatment of diseases using scanners and other hospital equipment that use electrical signals are now used to solve health problems of people. So that is true. Number five effect is more electrical appliances are used at home to make work easier and make our life comfortable. Electricity class is a really great form of energy that makes life easier for people because it can transform to other forms of energy such as light, heat, sounds, and mechanical energy. In other words, electricity helps us in many ways. But, there is a big but, it has also some harmful effects in our life. You must remember that producing electricity means burning fuels. When there is burning of fuels, chemical change in matter occurs releasing gases like carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and other harmful gases that may cause air pollution, acid rain, and global warming. Aside from that class, electricity can also kill people in construction sites when they get in contact with high voltage bare wires. It can also cause fire in the community due to faulty electrical connections that lead to loss of life and property. Let's now proceed to safety precautions in heat and electricity. The first one is to always check your electrical wire at home. Number two, never put fingers or any metal objects in the outlet. Number three, while cooking, use a pot holder in handling hot objects. Number four, never pull a plug by its cord. Number five, avoid octopus connection. Number six, never leave any type of fire or hot appliances unattended. So to prevent any disaster class, we are constantly reminded of the proper use of heat and electricity. Okay, let's do this learning task. All you have to do is to analyze each picture, write C if the object is conductor, and I if it is an insulator. The first picture is doorknob. Okay, very good. That is... Letter C, that is conductor. Number two picture, wooden figurine. That is letter I, that is insulator. Number three, needle. That is letter C, that is conductor. Number four picture is nails. So that is C, Conductor, And then the last picture is rugs, that is letter I. So this time, let's answer these questions. What is the difference between conductors and insulators? So conductors class are materials or substance which allow electricity to flow through them while insulators are materials that does not conduct heat and electricity. As a child like you, 
how can you help to save energy? So as a child, you can help to save electricity by limiting its use. For example, when you are watching TV, you should unplug it. Instead of using fans or aircons, you should open the windows or the door to give your house or stay in a ventilated areas. That is on how to save energy. So this time class, let us now enrich what you have understand in our lesson for today. Get your pen and paper with you. All you have to do is to write T if the statement is true and F if the statement is false.